This is the Mindful Witchery Podcast with your hosts, Lori Allen and Sarah Fry, just two New England ladies talking about everything. Take a deep dive with the ladies into the world of New England witchery, travel, adventure, and a little bit of everything in between. You can now find the Mindful Witchery Podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google, and Amazon. Hey guys, Sarah here. Lori here. Welcome back to another episode of the Mindful Witchery Podcast. Hey Lori. Hey Sarah. What are we going to talk about today? Oh my gosh, you know something that we have never talked about and I think it's it's just it's something that we we've kind of we've done this for months. Mm-hmm. And one thing that we always kind of keep to the side and I think we keep it for us is it's a full moon. It's full moon today. And as much as we celebrate the holidays, the witchy holidays, we also celebrate full moons. We celebrate waning and waxing moons. We celebrate new moons. Mm -hmm. And since we're in the full moon stage right now, it's a really special time. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought maybe today we were were saying that maybe we could talk about the full moon, which is going on right now. What kind of moon is it? A beaver moon? It is called the beaver moon, Mm -hmm. um, also known as the frost moon. Ah, the frost is on the pumpkin. Yes. The names of the moons are actually very easy to remember Mm -hmm. because it correlates with Native American, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Native American calendars. Mm -hmm. So they name the moon after what is going on in nature Mm -hmm. at that time, which is actually a very witchy thing to do. Yes, absolutely. Native Americans for a long time, even now, depend a lot on the earth. So beaver moon right now is usually around the time that beavers are collecting their... Like making their lodges, making their lodges, mm-hmm. like making their dams, so they can hibernate during the winter. And the frost moon really makes sense because yeah. this is when we're getting our the weather's getting colder. Yep. We're getting our first frosts yep. during this time of year, and you know it, it really makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. So there's like, a, what is there? Is there a salmon moon? Yeah, um, um, it's the trident moon. Mm-hmm. Trident moon. I forget. I think that's August, baby. There's mm-hmm. the strawberry moon, mm-hmm. which is the that's corn moon. The strawberries. There's the corn, come. Moon. There's the corn moon. There is the blood moon. Mm-hmm. No, that's not one. There's harvest moon. Yeah, there's the harvest moon. Mm-hmm. Um, I always pay attention to the ones more in the fall, mm-hmm. in the winter. Me too, yeah. Because I feel like that's when I need the most grounding. Mm-hmm. And that's usually when I utilize the moons a little bit more because it helps me to stay on track. And the moon is, is so important. And I think we don't give enough precedent and credit to, to the moon and, and how it affects us. I mean, you have to consider we're what? 80% water? Yeah. And the moon has a tremendous effect on water, the tides, um, and being that we're so much percentage of water, it's, it makes only makes sense that it would have a huge effect on our That's feelings, definitely. our actions, our intentions, all of those things. And a full moon is really when you um, when you set intentions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. a full moon usually, like I posted something today on our Facebook because mm-hmm. I figured we'd be chatting about, I really, I've been wanting to chat about mm-hmm. this. And we've talked about it before, right? Because I'm mm-hmm. like, I kind of lost track this year. Yeah. Of and it's one of those moons. things that's such a part of our lives that we yeah. don't really think, I mean, it's like brushing your teeth. Yeah. A part, a, a big part of a, of a witch's life is the moon and yeah. the phases of the moon and the how it affects of, you. Yeah. Yeah. And that like goes into like the phases of nature, mm-hmm. like each season, just our whole way. A lot of witches and pagans practice all go with that. Yes. And Kind of it makes unique. total sense. And I think, I know for me, I was going to ask you how you utilize it, but mm-hmm. for me, the moon is a foundation. And it's not so much like I feel I feel the power or the energy mm-hmm. of the moon as I stand outside naked. Yeah, like, it's, no, it's, it's not, not that. that dramatic. Some yeah. people can do that, whatever. But to me, I use it more as my calendar mm-hmm. to make sure I'm being authentic to my goals mm-hmm. and my values. So... Full moons are great times for releasing, Mm -hmm. right? And new moons are a great time that I use for, like, planting seeds, Mm -hmm. like, coming up with ideas, brainstorming, reading, journaling, which you can do the same with new um, Mm -hmm. full moons. 
but to me, like, New Moon is my favorite. I used to kind of like that, too. I, th- I use the full moon to set my intentions, mm-hmm. and then for the new moon, I use that to kind of take an inventory of my intentions. Did that happen? Yeah. You know, yeah, I, man- yeah. I try to manifest. I-, I make myself a list, and I put it. I actually have a little box that I put oh, nice. my intentions in for the new moon, and then I look. I take an inventory during the new moon of um, exactly... What transpired? Did I meet mm-hmm. those goals? So yeah. it's kind of my way of, of setting goals and then measuring the progress yeah. of those goals. Good way to so check kind in. Of, and it's also a yeah. time for me to cleanse my crystals. So. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I usually, honestly, like, I've seen so many people use the moons in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. Which yeah, is cool. absolutely. Like, to me, I use it for grounding. Mm-hmm. Other people use it to, like, cleanse crystals mm-hmm. and a time for even, like, spending with other people, connecting mm-hmm. with other people. I used to do full moon circles. Yes. Um, and new moon that's circles. That's how we met. Yeah, that's how we met. And to me, the moon is such a symbol for connectiveness. I hope you're hearing this right now, guys. Yeah. My cat is over here utilizing her scratch and post and <laughs> kind of having some kind of conniption fit. Not sure what's going on, but she's the mascot and she can do whatever she wants that's to. That's so. over here right now. She was maybe just a she, ago. Maybe she feels the power of the moon. Maybe. Just, it may, well... It is said that on full moons that it's when the hospitals are the most. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, well, who you, you know who you can really tell it in Sarah or children is children. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, I can tell you just as well because I work with with little kids. That's that's my job, and I I can tell when there's a full moon, even if I don't, if it's not in the front of my head. It reminds me when I see the actions of children that there's a full moon. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just it's it's yeah. Yeah, and, like, the screaming, I live across the street from a school, and, like, today, I don't know, I was telling Lori earlier, I don't know what the hell was going on. They were just screaming, Mm -hmm. and I don't, uh, I don't understand why kids scream like that, or when parents encourage their kids to scream like that. We always encouraged our kids not to. It's unnecessary. And I'm like, there, there was something, there's something in the air. And sometimes, actually, full moons... I feel off mm-hmm. usually, and I know for other people that's the opposite. I feel more myself around new moons, mm-hmm. and for other people, that's when they feel off. So, I think there's something about the, around the time that full moons happen, like mm-hmm. towards the end of the month, towards the beginning of the month, depending on the month. Mm-hmm. That maybe it aligns with like my menstrual cycle. I, okay. I don't know. Well, like I, I said, we're there's so much of a percentage of us that is mm-hmm. water mm-hmm. that I mean we're basically just cucumbers with highly with higher emotions. You know? Very complex cucumbers. Yeah, we're very complex cucumbers. And the thing is, I mean, it, you see how, and I mean, it's science. Mm-hmm. We've always said that all of this is based yeah. on science. That the tides are completely affected by the moon. And it's different phases. And so it makes sense that we should yeah. be. Absolutely. Yeah, and I feel like sense. our Western culture, too, is so has so distanced itself away from following more natural mm-hmm. natural rhythms of, of nature, right? Like, And there's mm-hmm. so many other communities and cultures that rely more heavily on the earth, rely mm-hmm. more heavily on the cycles of the moon like our ancestors did. And like even choose to still live that way. Mm -hmm. Just like we're choosing to, you know, acknowledge that the moon is a very important part to all of our lives. And all of those names that that you have for it, harvest moon, core moon, Mm -hmm. um, all of those come from just people understand. I mean, we didn't have clocks. No. So it's it's completely understanding the causes and effects of earthbound. Yeah. Things. Yep. I mean, oh well, look at that. This is the time of year when we have um, where the strawberry crop is the biggest. Yeah. Oh, so we can call this a strawberry moon. Mm-hmm. Ooh, so the wolf all, moon is the other yeah. one. So too. it's yeah. cause and effect. Yep. I mean, and, and a lot of times we don't. We tend to choose not to recognize cause and effect. And I always, I've always thought that that's one of the things that as human beings we don't do well is mm-hmm. recognize causes cause and effects of things. Yeah. Of our own actions, of the earth, of, of everything. Mm-hmm. It, it's all cause and effect. Yeah, and especially, like, I know I keep going back to culture, but it's, like, it's been in my brain lately. Mm-hmm. I've been learning a lot about it in school. So it's about how Western culture is so individualized mm-hmm. in how the way we're taught to live. It's very, like, 
me versus mm-hmm. you. You have like, your little circle, mm-hmm. your circle, your personal space, mm-hmm. your your personal bubble that yeah. only affects you. And, yeah. and really, that's so unrealistic. That is not yeah. true at all. Everything you do affects somebody or something else. There's just yeah. no way of getting around it. And if we were more in tune with that, we would be more in tune with nature. Yeah. We would be more in tune with other people's feelings. We would be more in tune with everything that goes on yeah. in the universe if we just realized cause and effect. Yeah, and more of that collective mindset, mm-hmm. right? Like what I do affects you. Mm-hmm. What that person does affects you. What yes. the, the way where the moon is in the sky right now will affect what I plant today. Mm-hmm. Or like even plants. There are so many plants out there mm-hmm. that go with the faces of the sun mm-hmm. and the moon and just very naturally and... And it's almost like this beautiful, complex system. Mm-hmm. and It is. It's like a dance. Oh, it's like a dance. And it's mm-hmm. beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I love that, you know, within our practice and stuff, like things like the moon, things like the seasons, mm-hmm. we can just sit and appreciate mm-hmm. that and appreciate how we got to where we are using those things. And the moon is a, rem- is a reminder. Mm-hmm. I think the moon is a great tool as a reminder to stop. Yeah. Look around you, realize that it's not just you, and really focus on your intent. Mm-hmm. Especially, full, I think full moon is all about intentions mm-hmm. and what those intentions will bring you. And then by the new moon rolling around, you can look at your intentions and see the result. Yes. And it yes. never ceases to amaze me. If you're really sincere about those intentions, the results are there. Mm-hmm. That's what amazes me about the moon. Yeah. In simple terms, using the moon as a way for a timeline for your goals. Mm -hmm. That's how I explain it to people when I was doing my meditation classes. It's like, you know, you could practice magic with the moon if you Mm -hmm. want. You could do meditation with the moon if you want. But the practical uses of the moon Mm -hmm. can really help you stay on track to align with your self-care. It can help you align with, you know... Your intentions. Your intentions, mm-hmm. creating goals, accomplishing those goals. Yep. Um, especially, I you know, for some people, like, the normal 12-month calendar, the, you know, 30, 28 days, mm-hmm. doesn't always line up with your natural right. energies. And like I was saying with the new and full moon, I have way more energy and I'm way more focused around the new moon than mm-hmm. I am the full moon for other people's the opposite. Mm-hmm. So when you can kind of find... When you have energy during the month and using the cycles, it's Pay close it's attention beautiful. to your energy. Pay close yeah. attention to what you gravitate toward with the moon phases. And um, I know a lot of people practice even way more in depth than I do mm-hmm. about the, you know, the waning, the waxing moon and, Correct, and yeah. all that. I don't, um, I mean, yeah, I tend I not know. to pay as close of attention to that. <laughs> I don't get to. <laughs> yeah, I don't, no. I, I pay more attention to the full moon and the new moon. But um, there's a great app to get. It's called Moon. Yeah. Um, it's it's on it's in the app store for Apple. Um, it's called it's just called Moon, and it gives you each day what the phase of the moon is, how far the moon is from the Earth, um, and how many days till the full moon, and how many days till the new moon. So you can always use that as a tool to figure mm-hmm. out what what it is. Um, that's a great little app. I have to recommend. It's my recommendation for the day. There's also a uh, moon calendar out mm-hmm. there you can buy. It's like a journaling moon calendar. Mm-hmm. I don't know the name of it. It's everywhere, though. I tend to see it. I actually saw it at Barnes & Noble, mm-hmm. if you can even still go to Barnes & Noble. But look it up online if you want to start utilizing it in your life. That's a great way is start journaling and start um, keeping track of if you're a woman, you know, your menstrual cycle. Mm-hmm. I know I keep going back to that, but that's it follows usually the sure. cycle of the moon in some way. And keeping track of that, too, can help you kind of get more in touch with your hormones mm-hmm. and your body, and your, your body, which is also mm-hmm. part of nature. That's the, Oh, I think that's where I was getting to is we're kind of taught that our body is so separate yeah. from the rest of nature in mm-hmm. the world. Like we were almost taught that our body is a separate or the diseases we have and mm-hmm. stuff all separate from the outside, which mm-hmm. is couldn't Not be further true. from the truth um, that everything that goes on in your body has a direct correlation mm-hmm. with, what's in your environment it's all connected socially what's going on politically what's going on economically Mm -hmm. like it just the layers are just vast Mm -hmm. and it's just i know we're talking about the moon but i think it's all connected oh it absolutely is and another place guys i and i have to recommend this because i just bought one this weekend 
Um, another place to really get in touch with the moon phases and, and not just the moon phases and your, your emotions in your body, but also the moon phases and plants is the mm. farmer's almanac. Yes. Oh every, my God. Yeah. Every year they come out with a farmer's almanac. The 2021 is already out. They're like, it's $8. If you go get it at the grocery yeah. store, they have it at the grocery store. Um, pick one up. They're so interesting. They are. Um, I don't, I mean, I, there's not many things that I buy annually like that, but the farmer's almanac we buy every single year. And it's so interesting to see how the phases of the moon affect crops mm -hmm. and when you should plant. It's so interesting. It's really interesting yeah. stuff. So, And it's like, it's hard to think like so many people think like, oh, that's woo woo. I'm like, no, it's not. No, this is a farmer's no, almanac. This is, yeah, it's a, it says farmer's almanac. Mm -hmm. There is science behind it. There's mm -hmm. data behind it. The there's Farmer's Almanac has been around for decades. And it, there's most people who, who do farm, not necessarily on the industrial level, but on the, the private level, mm -hmm. they buy the Farmer's Almanac every year. Yeah. And now you can get it online, which is really cool. That's yeah, really cool. Yeah. I prefer the pages. Yeah, I like so. I like holding. And I think we've talked be, about this before. We love holding yeah. it in our hands. I'm tactile. And, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that used to be red, but now it's yellow. Oh, really? It used to be red and big, and now it's yellow and small. But it's still the same thing. They still have all the same things in there. I do totally recommend the Farmer's I haven't Almanac. picked one up in a few years. That's another recommendation. That. Two, two recommendations in a row. That's excellent. Yeah, yes. Moon and Farmer's Almanac yes. and the Moon Journal. Yes. I think that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of books out there, YouTube videos mm -hmm. about it. Um, I learned a lot about it um, just actually just through doing my meditation mm -hmm. circles. That's when I really started getting into it more, where when I started doing the meditation circles mm -hmm. and people would ask me questions about the even the significance of a circle mm -hmm. and how important that is with connecting with the moon because the moon's a circle. The circle's gone mm -hmm. forever. It's infinity. It just, you know, it just really... It also represents femininity. Mm -hmm. And even tangent, but even like knowing that the moon... Even because the sun's in the sky and mm -hmm. we don't see it, it's always there. It's always there. Yeah. It's, it doesn't go away. It didn't away. disappear. Just because it's, it's a crescent. It's still there. Yeah. <laughs> and like you can, and I know a lot of people wait for night, but if you're mm -hmm. not a night person, like moi, I am yeah. not a night person. It is, the moon's still there. You, you can, can still do all you your stuff. You can go out. Sure. You can honor it whenever time you want and go honor the sun and meditate. And if you mm -hmm. need any um, advice about meditating with it send us a email we can always mm -hmm. um, find something for you and and it it is a great the the new moon is a great time for a lot of things oh yeah um and i know we've talked about some of the things that we like to do for the full moon mm -hmm. and one of the things that i really like to do is i make moon water Ooh, yeah. there's something very magical and very special about moon water and it's so simple all you got to do is get yourself a jar Fill it with, you can even fill it with tap water. It doesn't even have to be like some purified water from the gods. You can make it your refrigerator water, your purified water if you want to, but it doesn't matter. It's all about intent. Take your water, put it in a jar, sit it out under a full moon, mm -hmm. sit it out there all night, and you can use it for all kinds of cool things. You can use it to cleanse your crystals. Mm -hmm. You can drink it to make yourself feel Feel, feel yeah. one with the moon. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do with it that way. You can water plants with it. Some people say that watering plants with moon water is really Ooh, the thing. I didn't even think about yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of things you can do with moon water. So that is a good suggestion for just putting it something on to me. Do. Yeah. You could yeah. put it in a spray I bottle with a little bit. Wash my face with it. Yeah. I've done that before. And I put it in a spray bottle with little, a little bit of essential oil. Like I love lavender, so that's yeah. what I use. And I make a spray out of it, and I spray my spray pillow with it. Yeah. It's kind of magical. Do you ever put anything in the water when you put it out? Sometimes I, I would put like lavender. Mm -hmm. I used to put you like herbs Yeah, in absolutely. It, so, yeah. And you can put herbs in it, all kinds of different things. Sometimes I put orange peel because it tastes so good. That sounds so good. And um, yeah, and, and you can use it to clean your crystals. There's other ways to clean your crystals during the full moon too. If you want to put your crystals out under the moon, mm -hmm. you, that cleanses your crystals. And those of you who are crystal people, um, crystals do need to be cleansed. They absolutely do, um, because even though your energy might be positive and enlightening, not everybody who comes in contact with your crystals has the same energy. So crystals really need to be cleansed. I cannot emphasize that enough. <laughs> if you are a Reiki person and you use crystals in your practice, they definitely need to be cleansed after every Reiki mm -hmm. session. Just a, just a side note there. Make sure you're cleansing your crystals, yeah. because they can get dirty 
muck, with other energy. Mucky muck. Yes, mucky yeah, muck. mucky muck. So stick those things out under a full moon. Wash them in moon water. Um, sage them. Um, mm-hmm. Use Palo Santo. But either way, make sure that you're cleaning your crystals on a regular basis. I think even, too, when you were saying that, even if it's for your own, whatever you believe in, mm-hmm. even if you use crystals and don't really believe it, even mm-hmm. if it's for your own mental clarity, mm-hmm. it's almost like the symbolic item for you mm-hmm. to cleanse. It's almost like you're cleansing yourself. And it's also a good way to remember, just to remember. Yeah, during just a full to remember. Moon, during yeah. a full moon, I cleanse my crystals. Yeah, I stick them out on my porch, and I put them up on the on the, the, the sidebars on my porch, and mm-hmm. I just sit them there, and they cleanse under the moonlight, and then I bring them in the next day, and then the next mm-hmm. month I do the same thing again. Perfect. It's a great reminder. Unless I'm doing Reiki, then I'm cleansing <laughs> them after a Reiki session. I've seen people do it, too, with their tarot cards mm-hmm. and their wands and their cauldrons, mm-hmm. and you can really, anything you kind of need, like, a reset on mm-hmm. or you feel like is holding mm-hmm. things, you or even stuff that you're holding on to that mm-hmm. somehow you're attached to that item in some way, it's a great way mm-hmm. to purify it. And it all goes back to the same foundation of it's all about intent all about intent all about yeah. intent so yeah any way that you can you know and during a full moon is a great time to cleanse your crystals because it's a good reminder and you can make moon water and you can put them out under the full moon it's fabulous you can also also cleanse crystals in the sunlight oh yeah totally so whatever yeah. works for you whatever works for your wellness for your being you choose and you do what's right for you which has got a witch yeah, which has got a witch that's my new favorite saying yeah, which has got, got a witch well, awesome. Do you have, um, we can end with a recommendation if you want. Okay. Um, I'll go back to my recommendations. Yeah. The yeah. Farmer's, Arm, the farmer's right. Almanac. I, every, I suggest that for every witch. I think that's great. I think I it's a that. wonderful, I mean, it's I, so get practical one, and awesome. I get one every year. It's everything in a Farmer's Almanac except for the crazy advertisements. <laughs> there are some really weird advertisements for magnetic shoes and things oh like that God. that are really weird. Uh, Finger Hut. Remember Finger Hut? No. It was a store that you could shop in and you just made monthly payments. There's like all, all these weird advertisements in the Farmer's Almanac. Oh my God. But everything in the Farmer's Almanac connects to the earth. Very that's cool. what it, That's who it's for. That's its audience. So my suggestion is every witch out there, just mm-hmm. if you want to go out and just buy something and take a look yeah, at it. Yeah, it wouldn't um, hurt. It really is neat because it'll give you the moon phases and it'll cool. give you what plants to use and play with during the it's during awesome. the moon phases. Great for like more green witches too. Yes. Who do a lot of gardening mm-hmm. and things like and that. And kitchen witches too. It's great for kitchen, kitchen witches. witches. Yeah. My herbal witches out there. I just love saying kitchen witches. So that's my, what is your recommendation? Um. Well, one of them was the moon journal. Yes. And I honestly think that's it. Like the only other, like if you're, this is a great one. And I'm going to plug Amanda again mm-hmm. because actually Amanda has some really wonderful moon art. And um, we're going to plug her mantra cards again. Yes. I actually use her mantra mm-hmm. cards in my moon. I love to use them with, <laughs> I love to use her moon card, her cards with my tarot cards. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And like, I, I just, I, yeah, Amanda Reynolds, um, mm-hmm. Alpine and Moon on Etsy mm-hmm. is the name of her shop, Alpine and Moon. Um, and she has some moon related art. So if you're an artist and you're very visual like me, just having mm-hmm. some moon art or even doing art while you're sitting mm-hmm. under the full moon or, you know, honoring the full moon is a great mm-hmm. way to honor yourself, honor your creativity. And-, and as we sit here at my kitchen table and we're honoring our full moon with our pink peace candle and with uh, the uh, coarse salt underneath it to cleanse. Cleansing is another good thing to do during the full mm-hmm. moon as well. Take a nice hot shower with your yes. crystals. Do you? <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. Nice. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys. Have a wonderful us. have a wonderful full moon experience. Even mm-hmm. if you just go out there and look up at mm-hmm. the moon and make a wish. Even if it's not a full moon, just mm-hmm. get out there. Get it's out there and make it. a wish. Yeah. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.